Hi everyone, um, this is Jennifer. I thought I'd give you a quick uh, garden update video. I haven't done this in a while. The last one was three years ago and it looks like I don't know a thing about gardening. So this is my raspberry shortcake uh, raspberry. We just got another plant because the other one died and this one will grow and fill up this bed nicely. This I guess you would call a permaculture bed. It has borage, snapdragons, basil, sage, pansies, colises, cucumbers, which the cucumbers are growing up nicely. They're going to grow up those strings up to the top of the porch. Um, we have Japanese long, market moor, and straight eight cucumbers. We also have calendulas in there. That's the yellow flowers. And I also have my spider wart plant and a pumpkin in there. That's thanks to my hubby. And moving over here are a couple pots of flowers I have. I have marigolds. They're a little wilted right now. It's kind of hot. I need to water them. And, and this is just a hanging pot of flowers my mother-in-law gave me. I got a sunflower here. That's a dahlia I'm growing. Uh, that's lavender and my Shasta daisy, which fell over. But it's still doing good. The bees and stuff like it. And those are some more marigolds. That's a tomato in like a four foot around cage. It's growing nice and happy and I need to tie up that side branch. And over here we have some dianthus and marigolds and yarrow. Roses, a pumpkin, Russian sage, sunflower, anise hyssop, delphinium. Yeah, this is all doing good. That's my how to plant uh, kale in a 10 inch pot. That's what it looks like right now. I just harvested some of it yesterday. More calendulas. They reseeded. Uh, marigolds. Some sunflowers are growing super tall. They're almost to the roof. Yeah, they reseeded and I put in a few Mongolian sunflowers. There's my mint in a pot. That's chocolate mint. Uh, salvia. And there's another pumpkin. My husband's idea is if we have pumpkins in the fall and we have them out as decoration, toss them in my flower bed. So, I said I wasn't going to let them grow. I decided uh, I'll let them grow. So yeah, I have another pumpkin there. I got a pepper plant in there. I got basil in here somewhere. Sorry about that. Uh, that calendula is getting about to end. So I'm probably going to just let it go. That's another flower I have. Um, if I move around here, there's a couple more pumpkins. Another sunflower. Um, snapdragon. This is my purple cone flower. Ooh. And that is a bee. Yep, this purple cone flower more marigolds. I like marigolds because they're easy. Another coneflower. Here's some more basil. That's dill. I did not plant this. I don't know where it came from. And that's cilantro. Those are weeds. And sunflower and calendula. There's my rhubarb and there's some strawberries I have. I'm sorry for your shakiness. This is not what I'm good at. There's my fall cabbages and broccoli and mustard greens doing all nice and happy in their trays. Over there is an early girl. Dun, dun, dun. It's a hybrid. Oh no, it's not heirloom. Yes. Early girl hybrid tomato, which I'm loving how it's doing. A pepper plant that was doing good now is doing crap. I have no idea why. So um, that's my Chadwick cherry tomato. I think I showed you that in an update. There's my peppers. There's my hydroponic pepper. It's doing great. Let me step in here. I stepped on something. I'm sorry. There's my other bell pepper plant, which it looks like I need to harvest a bell pepper. There's a jalapeno. It kind of fell down on the floor. Over here are my cucumbers that I need to thin and looks like I'll be in the greenhouse today tying those up. Okay, let me get out of here. Alright, walk back here. 
And I'll try to avoid my messy patio. All right. This, minus the board and a few other things, is the old shade garden I planted with pastas and ferns and Solomon seal. Planted that right out of high school and it went crazy. And then, might as well show you my failures too. Yeah, sorry for the shakes. I'm not good at this. Um, I had this weeded, but the weeds came back. This is a hosta, coral bells, fern, hosta, some balsam, impatience, and bleeding heart, mayapple, and Solomon seal. Yeah, I'm trying to get these beds going. If you see a bunch of these little flower, these little thing, looks like I have weeds, but these are actually uh, forget-me-nots. And I don't see my peas or anything else I planted up yet, but I have a hosta, some more balls of impatience, impatience, hosta. Yeah, these beds are kind of boring. Fern, bleeding heart, hosta, hosta. That's lemon balm. Yes, I forgot to put the container in the garage. I'm bad about that. Over here, I have some more of the same, old, same old. But the only difference in this bed, aside from ferns, and that is a very happy milkweed plant. I don't know why, but it's happy here. I also have a comb flower that I probably planted that I need to dig up and transplant someplace sunny. Okay, next is my grape barber. And this is a bad angle to see it from, but this grape has been here since my... I'd like to say my freshman or sophomore year of high school because my dad planted this and he planted that grapevine right there and we just added a few which they're not doing real well but the old one's doing great this is a peony I planted and a Jacob's coat or some sort of old-fashioned rose yeah it's not doing too well I don't like roses this is a clematis that I planted and as you can see, the grapevine is very, very happy. And if I take you in here, see, I have grapes. And more grapes. Actually, I'm not seeing a lot of grapes on this thing, just leaves, which is not good. But anyway, let's go over here. This is another grapevine. This is a table grape, a Niagara grape. Underneath are blueberries. That's a hydrangea. Tell us if it's alkaline or not. It's not. So we need to add some. Okay, tell us if it's acidic or alkaline. Right now it's alkaline. It needs to be acidic. So those flowers need to be blue. As you can see, they are pink. Yeah, we're working on it. And over here are my green beans. They went nuts. I had them covered up with bird netting because in the early spring, uh, groundhogs like to eat them. So I covered them up with bird netting. Over here are my carrots, which I forgot to show you my container garden. Those are some beets I have planted. Another blueberry, which you can't see any of the berries because this is my blackberry bushes. Yeah, they're growing out all over the place, but they are loaded with berries. And my backyard is filled with mosquitoes and I have deep woods off sprayed on me. It is not organic in any shape or form, but it works. <laughs> and over here are my onions. Usually they look a lot better than this. I just weeded them yesterday, so. But they're starting to flop over, so that means pretty soon I'm going to have to pull them out and harvest them. Push past this. These are my potatoes. Yes, they look like crap, but they're coming to the end of their season. So as soon as they die back, like the other plant, I'm going to pull them and harvest me some potatoes. And over here, this monstrosity is our raspberry bushes. We picked yesterday. There are ripe berries again. 
Yeah, I ended up taking some down to your neighbors. They were very happy with me. <laughs> and these are my kale plants. I had them covered up with bug netting, but it didn't seem to be working. They're getting too tall. So I uncovered them, figured I'll see if the wasp and hornets we have, if they'll eat them and take care of them. There's some more potatoes, but they're a bit older and weeds. Yes, I need to weed. And this is a trench of extra tomatoes that is not doing very well. And over here, we have a red currant bush. I already picked the red currants, except for one corner that I couldn't get to, which I figured the birds would like. Uh, weeds. <laughs> Any good garden has a patch of weeds. This is a black currant bush, which we dug out of the weeds, and it's doing much better now. This is a German Johnson tomato. Um... He got a little swamped with water, so now he's not doing as great. He needs some bone meal given to him for whatever the K stands for. I think it's potash. So I'll be giving him some of that when I feed him this week. This bush will, you will not see next year. This is a gooseberry. Um, gooseberries aren't bad. I just... The berries taste kind of orangey to me, and... I don't like that. Oh, and these are our apple trees. There's one there. There's another one there. That one over there isn't doing so well. And that one's been here for years. It's finally doing pretty good. Of course, I went and pruned it. And over here is another flower bed. This I planned for the bees. And also I had a bunch of leftover flowers that I just kind of tossed in there. As you can see, it's mainly marigolds. And there's a few sunflowers my kids planted at church, or started at church, and I brought them home and planted them in here. I have no idea what variety they are. But yeah, nice little garden for the bees. I'm probably going too fast on this. I'm not good at this. I'm sorry. Okay. And over here is a first prize hybrid pumpkin. He is doing pretty good. I should probably send him off the other way towards the radishes. Because of who? I see a honeybee. It's right down there in that little yellow flower. Okay. That was the ADHD kicking in. So anyway, I plant radishes with my squash, zucchini, uh, pumpkins, cucurbits to repel squash bugs and vine borers and pretty much any bad insects. I just put them in, let them go, let them flower, as you can see. They kind of naturally repel stuff because I haven't had as many problems as I usually do this year. Knock on wood, Lord willing. But yeah, I have some cantaloupes forming. Yeah. I move over this way. There's a cantaloupe and there's another one. So if I get two, I will be happy. <laughs> But yeah, that's all cantaloupe, and there's my summer squash and zucchini, which I need to pick. And let me back up a minute so you can see how I have my tomatoes done. Anyway, uh, well, that stakes on the end because I couldn't get a string there. But I have a string tied along the bottom, and strings tied along the top. Hold on a minute. Oh, crap. I am sorry about this mosquito. Um, string tied up along top and I have strings running down in opposite directions and I'm twisting them two separate ways. If I walk over here you might be able to see. Yeah it just looks like a jungle. But anyway I have them going in two different directions. I need to prune these and top them off. But they have fruit. Okay they have disease too but they have fruit. They're growing. They're happy. Uh, some of these, I'm not sure what they are because it was getting towards the end of the season. I just tossed stuff in and didn't label. But yeah, they're growing nice and happy. That's a potato. It came up on its own. It's a volunteer. But yeah, they're growing nice and happy. I have more and more. I have like 70 tomato plants on my property. 
and over here are my peppers. They, yeah, they just look like crap, and that one fell over. I'm gonna have to tie him up. Anyway, so oh, that's naturally curved. But yeah, those are my peppers. I have gypsies, I have jalapenos, I have poblanos, I have Jimmy Nardello, and Great Stuff Hybrid. And this is my corn. I should move over here. That's my corn with watermelon and radishes at the base. Watermelon are doing great. And over there's a Hubbard squash and a Kushaw with more radishes. And there's also some melons and watermelon on the fence too. So I crammed a lot in there. And I gotta go back this way. This is probably annoying, but you know, I don't like to edit. There's another fence trellis of tomatoes. All nice and good. I gotta kind of look down and see where I'm stepping. This is my rhubarb and strawberry patch. I need to weed and fertilize and just, ow, general maintenance, mosquito. But yeah, these are doing good. I was having some problems with them. But they're growing nice and happy, have tomatoes. As you can see, I need to top them off or something. I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Um, that one fell on the ground, I don't know why. But yeah, these are all doing good. Um, have some disease. I may spray them, I don't know. Okay, walk around here. We're almost done, except for the container garden. This is my other tomatoes, slash basil. Yeah. And more of my tomatoes down there. And I'll go show you my container garden. Yeah, there's like 36 basil plants. I got a five gallon bucket the other day, so. Maybe I'll do a harvest video next time I harvest it. Cause I've cut this back once. It's hot out here. Okay, let's go back and look at my container garden. Yeah, see how happy the grape is? <laughs> All right. That hose lane. This be the one time I trip on the hose. All right. So, one last thing to show. I'll try not to show my mess or my children's toys. Now, I don't have very good luck with carrots um, in the garden, but when I plant them in pots, they seem to do awesome. That's a lettuce container. I just harvested it yesterday. That's my onions. They're in there. I need to pull the weeds out, but they're in there. Anyone who tells you container gardens you don't need to pull weeds, they lie. And that's some parsley, some lettuce. I don't know if it's bolted or not, but there's some more lettuce and mustard and scallions. More lettuce I just harvested. Some kale plants I tossed in there and used for baby kale. Another pot of carrots. Thyme. That did have bok choy, but I think it died. My daughter's vegetable garden, which right now is mainly beans. And other lettuce. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Talk to you later.